Welcome back to Switch to Linux. So today we're going to do a quick look at Triskel Linux. So Triskel is an Ubuntu based system that has the stamp of approval from the Free Software Foundation. So we're going to have a look at this distro, what it has to do, and we're going to boot it up on a virtual box and just have a quick peek under the hood, see what's in there. Um, I believe I've not been able to, to dice decipher all the information. I believe this is a, it is a brand new, brand new release, but I believe it is still based on Ubuntu 16.04. If you know differently, please correct me in the comments. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and have a look at this. So let's go ahead and look at the website here first. Um, so this is at triskel.info, T-R-I-S-Q-U-E-L.info. You can get information. And uh, they do have a regular size, which is based on Mate. This used to be based on GNOME. They dropped GNOME support with this edition because the latest GNOME requires proprietary drivers to get everything displaying correctly. So they've dropped that to go with Mate as their primary, and they have a light version, which runs um, uh, XFCE. Uh, we'll have a look at those options as well. So uh, they are working now on the development of the 9.0. This is the new 8.0 long-term stable release, which has update support until April 2021. So it will be uh, it will be available um, with that. So um, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and look at the download options. Um, you can come over here. This is you'll see that it has the uh, the Mate has 50 different language translators pre-installed. It is a 2.5 gigabyte download, and so that is a fairly large download, particularly for a distro that is simply running Mate. Uh, there is a mini version which runs the LXDE desktop. I'm sorry, I said XFCE. It is LXDE. My apologies. Um, th this only has the English and Spanish translations. And then there is also, um, this one has the sugar learning environment. There is also a net install. And they do have 32 and 64-bit uh, editions. So go ahead and uh, pick whatever works best for your system. And then you can grab uh, whichever download server works best, whichever mirror. And then you can download the ISO or you can download the torrent. So that is uh, where you can pick it up, how you can grab it. It boots right on up into the virtual box. Of course, I said it is um, Free Software Foundation approved. So here is their website. Um, if you come on down here, you can see it's down here on the uh, down here on the list. So you can check that out, and you can grab the um, the release announcement here. So you can grab the images, and here's just the basic information. Like it's, like they said, the biggest change is they went from GNOME to Mate. So those people that, that uh, like GNOME, you'll be saddy face. Those people who don't like GNOME and like Mate better, you'll be happy face. So you have those options there as well. Uh, Linux Libre 4.4 by default, 4.13 is available um, as a rolling release. Uh, Xorg 7.7, LibreOffice 5.1, which is actually a pretty old version. And then uh, VLC 2.2, and I think that's also a pretty old version. I know 3 is out as well. So it is not does not seem to have the most up to date software, uh, but regardless, it is uh, it is certainly a um, a distro that if you're looking for an Ubuntu base with all um, all um, open source software, it is certainly an option for you. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, boot this bad boy up. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> All right, so here we are booted into it. Um, like I said, it installs just fine. It does not bring the uh, does not bring guest editions with it, and we're very limited on the support that we have. I'm not going to bother adding the guest editions. We'll just kind of look at it like this. And um, so with this guy booted up here, so now that we are booted in, one of the more annoying factors is it has the screen reader enabled by default. So if you uh, listen closely, you may hear it talking through my speakers. Let me turn up the volume here. Oh, I muted it. <laughs> well, that's enough to drive me mad. So let's go ahead and mute the, that for a little bit. <laughs> let's go ahead and 
uh, turn off the, um, uh, see if I can, okay, assistant technologies, let's see. I have to close and log out. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, we're just going to keep the thing muted. Because <laughs> it does turn on the, uh, it does turn on the, uh, that quite annoying um, uh, screen reader stuff by default, uh, right out of the box. Here's our web browser. We have our home folder. Here's our menu. I do really like their icon. That's kind of why I put it as my, my main screen. So you have the web browser here. We have Ice Dove Mail. Um, remote desktop, transmission, Pigeon installed, Office. Again, this is probably an older version, 5.1. So one of the things I'm seeing right out of the gate is it does seem to have a lot older software. Uh, so here it says that this should be 5.1. So yes, it's 5.1.6.2 is what's installed here. Uh, let's go ahead and see if uh, is the spieling checker working. So spieling checker works. Come here, you, you're not allowed on the desk. So it looks like the spelling checker does indeed work. Um, uh, the synonyms are input. So it does have a lot of the packages uh, configured set up there, right? And so that is uh, one of the things that it does have. Uh, graphics, we have GIMP, we have the uh, Eye of Matei Imager, Image Color Selection, Simple Scan, Brasario for burning disks, uh, VLC, Sound, a couple of games that are fairly common, and then the basic uh, Matei accessories, calculators, dictionaries, etc., all that kind of stuff. Uh, so everything here is uh, is is pretty standard. Uh, it is, does feel like a good full operating system right out of the box. Uh, let's go ahead and reload that and going to enter my password there. It's going to reload the package information, and then let's just see if uh, any of the software packages that it might want uh, any updates to might be um, might be newer. So first thing we're going to go ahead and just have a look at what's in here. So if I wanted to grab, let's see. So I'm not really seeing any, uh, any, software that I might be looking for that's that's missing so that's good so it looks uh, it looks 7-zip is installed by default there you go okay there's the about mate um, let's see if I can remember how to actually run a uh, basic system update in, in Ubuntu mate <laughs> or uh, Triscoll in this case Okay, software updater, we're gonna go ahead and run that. Let's go ahead and check for updates. <clears throat> I do like the theming on it. The theming is, is pretty nice out of the box. So it wants to download wants to download some core software so let's just go ahead and allow it to do its uh, downloady thing all right so otherwise inside our control center we have our uh, there's software and updates software updater we're gonna have a look at that when we're done there's a startup disk creator that's nice you can create a, a new startup disk for your system Synaptic package managers installed, our time and date. Okay, so here's your appearances. Everything I would expect from Matei. You can see that we they do have their own built-in theme. Kind of reminds me almost like uh, uh, Cinnamon, uh, how Cinnamon implements itself. And uh, that's kind of cool. But you do have all these other ones. I think I run the green submarine on my backup system. So that's that's one I, I like. So let's just go ahead and change it to that. So that's pretty cool. OK. 
curious. I'm thinking this is probably going to be uh, Kaja. Yep. So then you should, let's see. Yeah, I don't have the ability to actually get in here and open something. Oh, you can't open, okay, you can't open an individual folder as administrator. So right click, you can open a folder as an administrator. So that's good. Uh, how's our software updater doing? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and restart that later. I wanna look at the software and updates now, see if that's any different. All right, so here's our basic updates. So everything in there is standard, what I would expect from a basic Ubuntu system. Here's your menu editor. All right, <clears throat> so that's pretty good. Um, so suppose you're new to Mate, you wanna learn a little bit more about how to uh, manage or theme this. Uh, you can come down here um, into your panel and you can do uh, some properties, right click it for properties, you can auto hide it, you can uh, expand it, you can set the background as in, as images or you can set it as, um, you can set the panels a little bit more transparent or not. That means they probably are using um, Conky as their, as their window manager is my guess. Should be able to see an option to edit that. Of course, I don't use Mate enough. I sometimes get Mate mixed up with some of the other ones. Uh, we can actually add panels, um, or add to the panel, rather. So a variety of different things. So there's clocks, custom application launchers, which is what we have over here. Um, connect to server, dictionary lookup, fish, the eyes. A variety of different things we can add to it. Oh, let's uh, go ahead and have a look at the system resources real quick. Let's see how much data this is taking. So it looks like we have... Now we're using just about a gig, actually. That's quite a bit. Um, I was running some software stuff, so might be artifices of that going on in the background, but... Uh, it is running on about one gig of memory. I have uh, allocated six gigs to this virtual box. So it's not running slow or anything. Nice add remove button right there in the system. I'm guessing that this is the uh, just the basic web browser kind of based on the GNOME web browser. and I forget what all that's based on. Oh, it's actually Firefox. Huh. That's actually... Not what I expected. <laughs> Just said web browser and uh, let's see about browser. So it's Ab Abby Browser 59 for Tres for Triscoll, which does based on the theming here. It definitely looks like it is based on um, Firefox Quantum. So it does look like it's a customized browser for that. Let's see the uh, search. Uh, let's see preferences. So search, they're giving us DuckDuckGo as our default for our search. We have the options Amazon, Bing, Google. We have Tresco. We don't have um, we don't have Start Page, but you know DuckDuckGo is good. Um, I like DuckDuckGo too. It's definitely getting better. Uh, let's bleh, Bing remove that. Remove eBay. I usually allow Google to hang around because sometimes I might need it, and I don't really want to search Amazon. So there you go. Now our default. So our default was DuckDuckGo, so that's actually actually good. So they are a little bit more uh, privacy centric than some other ones are. There's our Mate. So all right, there's there's that. Let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, theming again, just for those that might be new to this particular desktop environment. Uh, you want to come down and find the control center. I always forget that. In Mate, it'll have a menu which has all of the individual items if you know what you're looking for. Everything will be inside the menus if you know right where you're going. But if you don't, you can actually come into this screen here, which has access to everything. So inside your appearances, uh, this we've already been into once, but inside of here, you can select your main overall theme. You can download and install themes. There's a link online. Uh, you can adjust your background. Let's have a look at what backgrounds we have available here. Okay, so these ones here, there's a little series of backgrounds. 
Some basic Mate ones. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. It's got a little Triscoll symbol there. Let's go ahead and use that one. You can adjust your fonts. Um, so here's our basic system font. And i got to remember how we can. There it is. Let's bump our font size up a little bit. There we are. So now our main our our main uh, font size is, is up a little bit there. And we can show icons in the menus or not. So those menus are, uh, so they are these menus here showing the icons in these menus. We can enable those or turn those off from inside of here. Closing that will bring us back over here. Never actually been through this system here. This is for your main menu editor, so if you want to adjust anything, move anything around on your main menu, you can do that from over here. So there's a notification test. I like the notifications on this a lot better than I've seen. Uh, Looks like all of them are essentially the same, but <laughs> it, I do like it. It is it is a nice notification system. And Windows. <clears throat> no, it's still giving me notifications. <laughs> And here's your basic startup application. So there's the backup. It is launching a backup monitor automatically. So that's good. Let's go ahead and have a look at the backup system they have. Let's see if I can find it. Hmm. Okay, so here's your backups. You can set your folder to save your backups to, folders to ignore, storage location. Uh, last I knew, let's see. Yeah, this one's to enable to save this to like a network store. You have to set up a way to mount the drive first. I actually have a Linux Mint video on how to mount the drive so that you can basically create it. It mounts it on, on boot and then you can automatically run your backups. And you can set your automatic backups, and then you can delete old backups, you know, six months, a year, forever. So you can do that if you want to turn on your automatic backup. But the backup monitor is is already enabled, so uh, that is that is where that is. So there is uh, Triscoll, just a brief, quick look. Uh, looks, pr looks pretty nice. Uh, my final assessment, um, not a bad distro, uh, based on Ubuntu, so that's good. And it is, uh, it does have older software though, and in many ways, kind of really old software. Uh, if that's okay with you, that's okay with you. If you are not necessarily okay with that, then you probably know how to upgrade software to, um, to more recent versions. For example, Linux Mint, some of the software is a little bit older on that as well. Those critical pieces of software, like I'm recording this on OBS Studio, I always use the latest of that. Um, you know, I install that. Um, Intentionally, uh, same with the um, uh, same with the um, Caden Live, so you can do that. You can upgrade the software if you need to. Uh, it is pretty nice, though, if you're looking for an Ubuntu-based distro that is approved by the Free Software Foundation and completely, completely open source. This is probably a good go-to. Uh, so that's my my final thoughts on that. So what do you guys think down below? I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here. And you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.